Our prayers are always being answered, even if we don't necessarily realize it. I wanna talk about this video I saw recently with Robert Hodgkins. I'll also post the link to it in the description below, but it was just such a powerful testimony and it taught me so much and I really just wanted to pass that along to you. And so basically what Robert's talking about is him having a very severe illness where he's working with doctors around the world and they don't know what's wrong with him. He's so sick that there's many days where he can't even lift his head off of the pillow. And there are so many times when we pray about something in our life and we feel like God's not there. Like, where is he? We feel this intense absence of God, right? And we're like, why are you ignoring me? Why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you answering my prayers? And that's kind of what Robert was going through during his entire time of sickness. And, you know, as a believer, he's praying and praying and praying and not understanding why he's not getting better. And so with all of the time passing, as I'm sure many of you can relate, I know I certainly can, when we're praying and praying and nothing's happening or nothing's coming into fruition, sometimes we can feel a little doubtful. You know, sometimes maybe we think, well, prayer doesn't work, or God's not listening, or God doesn't care about me. Right? And what happens is God brings him into a vision. Have you guys ever had a vision before? I know personally, I've only had two. That's not typically the way that I hear from God and neither of those visions have come into fruition yet at this point, but it's a very powerful thing to go through. So I would love to hear about your stories if you guys have had visions. Um, but basically, Robert talks about this vision that God brought him into. And there's so much that he teaches Robert as he's going through this vision. And one of them is that, so this Robert was a minister. You know, he, he worked in ministry. God's showing him the faces of all of these people. And Robert's like, I don't understand, you know, who these people are. I don't remember any of them. <laughs> and God tells him, every time you prayed about healing yourself, about me healing you, I was using you to heal all of these other people. Every time you sent a prayer, every time you prayed, you healed this person, you healed that person, and I used you to heal those people. I used your faith to heal those people. And so what Robert's talking about is, you know, oftentimes we can get so hung up on ourselves, right? And it's natural, I mean, we're human. Or sometimes we can get so hung up on one prayer and on one thing that we don't feel like it's coming to fruition. But in reality, what God's showing him is that he is using us to answer the prayers of people outside of us. Like how, I just thought this was such a powerful testimony. It's like no prayer goes unanswered, but it might not necessarily be for you. And now while some of us can think, well, then what's the point of praying? But the way I see it is every single time I pray, whether it's for me or for someone else, God is answering that prayer. You know, every time we pray for money, let's say, we're having issues financially and we're struggling and we don't know, you know, what's gonna happen and we pray to God for money. On one hand, things always work out and if it doesn't feel like they're working out, you're helping someone else. Like how powerful and how beautiful is that? I was like sobbing listening to this testimony. That just gives me so much more peace to continue praying. So I pray a lot um, throughout the day. And usually it's just like a quick minute or two. You know, I don't really sit in prayer for a long time, but I pray 10 plus times throughout the day. And so it's so beautiful to me that God would be using me to help other people. And one of the things that Robert talks about that also caught my attention is sometimes we can focus so much more on our expectation of God and not expecting God. Does that make sense? So. Like we expect that when we pray, God better answer our prayers in the next you know, day, right? That's an expectation of God that we have of God. Not that we are expecting God to answer our prayers or to use us to save ourselves and others. So there's a difference there between having what we perceive to be our standard of how God should act versus just having that undoubtful faith that he is working for us and through us. One of the things that God said to Robert is that he's using Robert to answer prayers of people that don't necessarily have that heart-filled faith. 
and he's healing them anyway. Sometimes we can see God as sometimes in a negative light. You know, we think sometimes we feel that he has his favorites, right? But throughout this testimony, it just shows me, and I hope that I'm relaying this to you, that God is good, right? Like God is healing those and answering prayers for those that don't even necessarily fully believe. How selfless and how beautiful is that? You know, you're helping others win these battles that they might not be able to fight for themselves. And isn't that what it's all about? It's not all about me, 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 right? And sometimes, and myself included, I definitely get caught up in that sometimes and feeling like, well, it's all about me and why isn't God doing this for me? But it's all about helping thy neighbor, okay? And the more we stand in our faith and the more that we believe in God and pray for ourselves, for others, for people we may not even know, our prayers are being answered. An example of this for myself is, you know, every time I'm driving on the road and an ambulance goes by that has the lights and the noises and everything on. And you know either someone's in the back of the ambulance or they're on their way to get someone who is in need. I send a prayer, okay? I say a prayer for that person and anyone who's involved that everything is healed, everything turns out okay, and that that person is okay. You know, every time I come across a homeless person, I have these little homeless bags in my car that I make up with, you know, waters and snacks and notes, and I always give them a few bucks too and I pray for them. And even if I don't get a chance to talk to them, I pray for them that they find their way and that God helps provide them a home and food and shelter and water and all the things that they need. Okay, it's just saying these simple prayers for people that you see. You know, sometimes if someone's not treating you right in your life, whether it's someone you know or someone random, send them a prayer. The more that we stand firmly in our faith, the more that we believe and trust and have that faith in God. And the more collectively that we do that, our faith has the power to literally change the world. And this testimony that Robert gave was just so powerful, I had to share it. So I would highly recommend checking that out. If you do wanna learn more about how to hear from God, if you do struggle with that, I will post this video right here and at the end as well. So yeah, I would recommend checking that out and also really recommend checking out Robert's testimony and this entire channel because it's just so beautiful and listening to these testimonies shows us how these miracles are still being performed day in and day out in this world even when we feel like the world is crumbling around us. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.